This is Patrice Wenling at the American College of Cardiology speaking with Dr. Harold Litt. You presented results from the Akron PA4005 trial of cardiac CT for patients with acute chest pain. What does this bring to the table for physicians who might be on the fence about using CT to clear these patients? Well, I think the important part of our trial was that our sample size was large enough to demonstrate the safety of coronary CT to a degree that would be acceptable to emergency medicine physicians. We powered the study for our primary aim, which was to show that the 30-day cardiac event rate in patients who had a negative CT would be less than 1%. And in the trial, the 640 patients who had a negative coronary CT, which we defined as no stenosis 50% or greater, ended up having zero events at 30 days. And statistically, the upper limit of that confidence interval was 0.57%, so we were able to demonstrate our safety threshold. Um, you did identify more uh, coronary artery disease in the patients who were cleared with CT, and they also underwent more revascularization. What are the implications of that going forward? Yeah, that was a very interesting finding, identifying almost three times as many patients with significant coronary disease in the CT arm com uh, compared to the traditional care arm. Of course, we are comparing an anatomic test to a functional test, and there would be coronary stenoses that might not cause a blood flow impairment. The question going forward will be, now that we've identified these patients, will lifestyle modification, risk reduction, and medications for them prevent them from having heart attacks in the future or will it just lead to future test, uh, to additional testing for them without much benefit? For those physicians who, who don't want to adopt the CT strategy, uh, physician judgment is often put out there as something that they should be using to clear these patients. What kind of a track record does that have? Well, this has been this, the uh, topic of quite a few studies with tens of thousands of patients and all of them have shown the same thing which is that physician judgment, clinical exam, and biomarkers can only take you so far. They are very important to assign patient to a, patients to a risk category, high risk, moderate risk, low risk. But once you put them in that low to moderate risk category, it can't take you down to the level of safety that you need. And that's why previous studies have shown that using physician judgment and biomarkers, there's still a 2 to 3 percent heart attack rate in patients who are discharged from emergency departments. Our goal, and this is based on consensus guidelines, is to get that number down to less than 1 percent. That's the level at which emergency medicine physicians will feel comfortable discharging patients. So based on the results of Akron PA 4005, are we at the point where this should be the standard of care? I believe that for many institutions it would be an appropriate standard of care. It allows you to discharge twice as many patients directly from the emergency department in the CT arm. It allows you to discharge patients much more quickly. In our study, patients who had a negative test length of stay was 12 hours in the CT arm and 25 hours in the usual care arm. That's a 50 percent reduction. And not only is it important to those patients who are going to be able to get out of the emergency department more quickly, but that means that those resources are now available to treat other patients in the emergency department. ED overcrowding is a major problem in the United States and it's a cause of substantial morbidity. When patients spend too much time in the emergency department, all patients are affected, not just the ones who haven't been sent home yet. This is Patrice Wendling, IMG Medical Media at the American College of Cardiology.